Thierry, uh, artificial intelligence is central to the current wave of communications uh, technology uh, developments around the world. Um, is Nokia Bell Labs working on ways to implement it differently to the way that it's being used currently in consumer markets, things like chat and customer service and things like that? Yeah, so we actually see the, the use of AI in the network, not just networks for AI, but also AI for networks through the entire life cycle of networks. But we also see huge opportunity for AI in enterprise industrial applications, mission critical applications. And uh, we work on something we call industrial GPT. GPT. What is that? It's uh, mirroring language models, large language models, with physical world models. So that you, I'm capturing a physical world, but I also have a natural way of querying and asking questions to that digital representation of the physical world. So digital twin? The digital twin is the one that creates the digital copy of the physical world. Then I need to have insights into what is in the digital twin, and AI will extract that insight and that knowledge from the digital twin, and then I have a natural language way of querying right. the digital twin. And do you include predictive analytics in that so that you can almost uh, suggest what might happen rather than reacting to it? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Once you know the state of a system or an environment or a machine, then you have the historical trends, you have experience from other machines, and then you can do predictive, predictive analytics, predictive performance, you can optimize your system. And once you have the inside, mm. you can use it for improving productivity, efficiency, safety, and predictive maintenance is, is one example of that. But you must have to tune it for every industry vertical that you're working on. Well, I think from, from a Bell Labs research perspective, we want to develop the foundational technologies, uh -huh. Uh -huh. make sure we enable that, then when we put it in the real world or we productize it or we build proof of concept systems with customers and partners, right. then we fine tune it to a particular use case or particular uh, vertical sector. But right. we really want to develop the horizontal foundational technologies. Uh, you see, that tallies with my theory about why telecom is so important is because the world is being digitalized across different verticals and telecom is a vertical but it's also the only technology which is horizontal, horizontal underneath all of those other technologies. Absolutely right. So I'm right about that, aren't I? You're absolutely right. Can I have a job? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sure. so yeah, no, that's the extent of it. Um, but whose job do you think, I understand it's not your job because you're, you're building that infrastructure, but whose job is it to uh, nuance the model so that it's applicable in a, um, an open cast mine in, in, in Brazil or in a healthcare facility in Hong Kong? Is that a systems integrator role? Is it the job of the industry? Is it Nokia's job to do that? Who, who's responsible for I, that? Because that's the piece which is opaque at the yeah. moment. I think it's still part of Bell Labs' job as well. That as we want to take the technologies into the real world, mm -hmm. we want to validate the technology in the real world. We want to accelerate how the technology goes from the lab to the real world. And then you have to work with customers, partners, and that's where we get involved in the fine tuning mm. and, and making sure the technology we've actually built solves the real world problems. Mm. Uh, because the real world may be more complicated, it may be messier, it may be different complexities that we're not foreseeing in the lab. Yeah. So it's really important that we do that leap as well. Then how it gets productized, sold, commercialized, uh, supported, maintained, that then becomes a business yeah. uh, question. Artificial general intelligence, are you working on that? Uh, no, I think we're mostly focused on really AI, the foundations of AI, AI for networking, and mm. then AI for industrial enterprise applications. Mm. Uh, we also focus quite a bit on responsible AI because we think the use of AI has to be responsible mm. um, in these domains, whether it's uh, verifiable, reproducible, mm. uh, bias-free, as well as uh, energy efficient. It feels like there's a, a big shift coming, that there's a transformation. I think that's taking place in industry where technologies like AI and automation and robotics are, are going to uh, create a, a, a huge movement to a new digital economy. Do you agree with that? And what's Nokia uh, Bell Labs doing to support that move? Yeah, I agree. Definitely AI is a transformational technology. It will um, change and revolutionize every aspect of our lives from a consumer perspective where we see it already. But I think the next really big wave will be applying AI to enterprise and industrial applications, mission critical applications, where it's about productivity, efficiency, worker safety. And how do we leverage the power of AI with industrial automation, with robotics in these industrial enterprise environments?